a wonderful family. It's a joy to come your way again. You are watching Hope TV, and my name is George Wahin Ajiman Witte. The program you are viewing currently is Inspiration Behind the Hymns. And I'm here with Elder Kofi Osufri. <laughs> That is your. I'm doing well. 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 I'm Jesus, thou joy of love and hearts, thou font of life, thou light of man, from the best bliss that earth imparts, still we turn and fail to thee again. We thank you so much that we have come to be filled. We pray that you will be with us. You come and bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Elder, I'm sure. I'm sure, Juju. In the group, uh, in fact, I'm excited already. <laughs> because this is the very first group, uh, Yenya one from the north, from the northern part of Ghana. Yeah. Um, na America, Wa Central. Adventist Church Choir, Wa Central Adventist Church Choir District, our only a Wa District, Upper West Administrative Field Unit, the whole, and a Wofi. The Yenu Aji, Yenu Aji Pa De, Wafu, Webu Kwan, Ama Kwas Na Singing Groups are all the northern part of Ghana. I want to be a part of this program. Now him Ah Webu Kwan. Watu, a uh, SDH two zero seven. It may be at morn. And you may HL Tena or James Magranaham and a way. You know, I'm, I'm also very happy to, to receive them. Mm. Our first car from the northern, from region, the northern region of Ghana. Mm. God bless them. Amen. The very first hymn they will do for us is. Adventist Terminal 207, mm -hmm. It May Be at Morn, by H.L. Turner. Mm -hmm. The hymn first appeared in Gospel Hymns, numbered three, in 1878, under the heading, I Will Come Again, mm -hmm. taken from John chapter 14, verse 3. Not much is known about H.L. Turner. But the one who set this incredible hymn to music for us is our very good old James McGranahan. You know. James also composed 
showers of blessing. There shall be mm. showers of blessing by the same composer. Yeah. I will sing of my, of redeemer. my redeemer. Wow. Three, four, three. And then I know whom I have believed. I have believed. So James is an incredible composer. The hymn is about the second coming of Jesus Christ. The day that will end all diseases. That day will end all human sorrow. Now currently, as a country, we have to deal with the unfortunate demise of two young girls in a very tragic accident that mm. has scarred the conscience mm. of the nation. Mm. You can imagine the grief mm. and the pain, the manner of death was just outrageous. But you know, when Jesus Christ comes the second time, mm -hmm. you put an end to all human world sorrow. So as for coming, he will come. Mark chapter 13, 35 says, Jesus said, therefore keep watch mm. because you don't know the hour in which I will come, whether in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows or at dawn. This hymn captures the, the essence of our belief as Seventh-day Adventist. But one thing is that the early Adventist pioneers were not satisfied <coughs> with it may be at morn, or it may be at noonday, mm -hmm. or it may be in the night. No. Mm -hmm. they, by prophecy, they wanted to find the exact dates that Jesus Christ will come, you know, prophetically. Mm -hmm. That led them to what we call the great word, disappointment in 1844. But it's instructive to know that he will come. Mm. But the time that he will come is unknown. So at all material times, we are called to be prepared, just like the wise virgins. Mm. Oh, Lord Jesus, how long? How long before we shout the glad song? How long before we say, Christ returneth? to take us home. So it's a very beautiful hymn Indeed. that we have in the Adventist hymn now. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. It may be at morn, H. L. Tenner, Onye James Magranaham, SGH 207, Na Mijizi, De Wafo, Oboto no Kisi Major. Na wait mo achrem, De Oboto ni Chi. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wa Central Adventist Choir. Yeah. 
lovely ministration by the Wa Central Adventist Church Choir. Yamin Shramu. Wow. What's all that? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> and it appears there are lots of tree speaking people yes. who worship at Wa Central. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Surprisingly, what can you do? That's so awful. What can you do? Papa, papa, papa. All right. Yeah, sure. um, yeah, next one. Elder Yenye, SDH 546. 546. The Lord's my shepherd. Yeah. The Lord's my shepherd. Um, you mean Juana? No, yeah. James Macbeth Bing. <laughs> Macbeth Bing. <laughs> Macbeth. <laughs> Macbeth. Ah. <laughs> You know, sleep, Literally. sleep, sleep no more to uh, all the uh, house. Uh, 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 Macbeth do with me that sleep. Uh, the innocent sleep. Uh, oh, okay, I remember my okay, Macbeth. Okay, okay, <laughs> literature. Yes. Ada, can you The Lord's the, the my Lord shepherd. My shepherd mm -hmm. is a very, it's a familiar hymn. Yeah. It's a paraphrase. One of the shep shepherd hymns. One right? of the shepherd hymns. It's a paraphrase of Psalm 23. But this very version, 5, 4, 6, follows closely the King James version of Psalm 23. Okay. So it's a metrical rendition. Okay. Uh -huh. it's, it's direct mm -hmm. from Psalm 23, looking at the King James version. version. The song is from the shepherd, Psalm 23, the most beloved of all the Psalms that we have in the Bible, 150 sounds. But I think that Psalm mm -hmm. 23 is, is the most recited, loved mm -hmm. psalm. And why do we love this psalm so much? Because it speaks of certain things, green pastures, mm -hmm. you know. Still waters. Still waters. Restoration souls. of souls. Uh, <laughs> it's wonderful, mm -hmm. you know. Apart from that, it's not, it does not only speak about these things. It also speaks about an all-knowing, an all-powerful shepherd who devotes full attention to our care and feeding. Mm -hmm. So apart from the fact that it talks about the pastures, talks about the still waters, talks about restored souls, it also talks about this wonderful shepherd who is all-powerful, mm -hmm. a shepherd who is devoted to the care and the feeding of the flock. Mm -hmm. He is not only concerned about the flock and mass, he's also concerned about every individual sheep of what? Of the flock. It's a beautiful hymn written by our good old friend, David, one of the precious Psalms mm. that we have. It's re referred to as the nightingale of the Psalms. Of the Psalms. Yeah. J. L. Macbeth Bain. Bain. James Macbeth Bain. On our throw, the mean you mean. Me jizzy there. Wa central for Oboto no key D major. It was my friend Conan Concote, SDH. Five, four, six. The Lord's my shepherd. The Lord's my shepherd. Young Kodiyambra.
table thou hast furnished in presence of my foes. My head thou dost with oil anoint, and my cup overflows. My head thou dost with oil anoint, and my cup Such amazing ministration by Wa Central Adventist Church Wa. Oh, my Aze. Yami Inshramba. Why do we have to take a trip and go and visit? Certainly, certainly. And worship but, with them. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. Yami Inshram. Yami Inshramba. Elder, a question for you. Can you count? The stars. The stars. <laughs> Can you count the stars? Hey, uh, the caption of SDH 98. SDH 98. Now, on and on, Sierra. My portrait of friend Johann Wilhelm Hay. Johann Wilhelm Hay. I'm the HW Dalkin. Dalkin. On also, yeah, translation. Yeah. Um, you right. know, Johann was born in Lena, Germany. That was as far back as 1789. Studied theology at the universities of Jena and Göttingen. Mm -hmm. The hymn exalts us to trust God who knows the end from what the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it takes us to the 12th chapter of Genesis where God calls our father Abraham. He was mm -hmm. called Abraham by then. Mm -hmm. God calls him and gives him three promises, wonderful promises. Number one, that he will bring him to a land that God will show him. Mm. Two, he will make him a great nation. Mm. And the third one, he will make Abraham's name great. Mm. So God gave Abraham, or Abraham, when he was called, these three wonderful promises. And for 25 years, none of them had been established. Mm -hmm. And Abraham began to waver a bit in his belief and trust in God. He confronted God mm -hmm. that you promised me Shall that you go. make me into a great mm -hmm. nation. I'm growing old. Mm -hmm. I don't have any child. I don't have any son who inherits me. It appears that when I die, mm. my foremost servant, Eliza, is the one who will inherit me. It is then that God took him outside. Mm -hmm. you know, God says, no, you don't have to stay in this room, right? What I want to do, you, this room cannot answer it. So you come out. So mm -hmm. Abraham came out into the open air. Mm -hmm. And then God asked him to do something that all of us, who have been promised certain things by God should do. God says, look up. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the circumstance. Don't look at your age. The fact that I'm growing old and I'm 35 mm -hmm. and the child hasn't come mm -hmm. and I've been married for five years and two years and 10 years. God told Abraham to what? To look up. 
to all of us who have been promised by God, unless you have not been promised by God. Mm -hmm. But once God has promised you, to come to God says what? <clears throat> Look up. up. And then God questioned him. Mm -hmm. Can you count the stars up there? As many as the stars that you see up mm -hmm. there, so your descendants what? Maybe. At that time, he was almost 100 years old, you know. But God is a God of impossibility. And we know the story. Abraham gave birth to what? Isaac, Isaac. the promised son. Mm. And out of whom we have Jesus Christ. And all of us have come to know Abraham's word, God. So it's very, very important that we look up mm. all the time. The question is, can you count the stars? Mm. Wonderful him, SDH 98. Yes, yeah. Wonderful him. Mm. So, how do you work, Mado? So, Yami, a jitter than Yami was your boy. My woodsel do, nephew will. Eh? Question no goes to you. A bottom, I can and so man also, Nana. Can you count the stars? Into me can. Into Jizzy, then Yaminara, wash our bonnets, or baby, or baby. Yanko, Nianko, tea, wa central kwa na woboto enyumi ya him 98 ki a uh, wobo use word out enyumi eh e flat measure yen ko ko tie name bra
inspiring ministration. Oh, the rendition was just super. Yeah, that must say. And I love, yeah, I love the conductor. Afro conductor. Penafro, no pa. Penafro, no. Well done, guys. My as a pa, nyami inshramo, inshramo. That I am four four eight. S H four four eight. Oh, when shall I see Jesus? Oh, when shall I see Jesus? My name is Juan Ochoa, John Leland, John Leland Ochoa. Uh, the arrangements was made by Melvin West. Yeah, you know, it's it's a Negro spiritual, spiritual. one of the wonderful ones that we have in our hymn book. The stanzas were written in 1833 mm. by this Baptist itinerant preacher by name John Leland. You know, he was a Baptist. He was also a vigorous champion of religious liberty. The hymn is among the most widely published of Leland's hymns, maintaining a presence in hymnals throughout the 20th century, mm -hmm. as well as anthems that were arranged around that time. The hymn attracted the pioneers because they could relate to the question posed by Leland. Mm -hmm. Oh, when shall I see Jesus? Mm -hmm. And to the Millerites, who were the pioneers, that question was not just a question that could be answered with, oh, maybe later, maybe someday, no. They were bent on knowing the exact dates because their knowledge was influenced by prophecy. <laughs> so that was the Melarize movement, yeah. <laughs> Even with B.F. White's altered version in the Adventist Seminar, we still can relate to the agency of the trumpet call as far as the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is concerned. And to us as Seventh-day Adventists, we know it's eminent it is soon. Mm. That is what we always have to have at the back of our minds. And the JY says that we must prepare as if Jesus Christ is coming what, tomorrow. The way we live what, oh, our yes. lives. So it's a wonderful hymn, originally Baptist, but borrowed by the, by the Adventist church because mm. of the fact that it fits into our fundamental beliefs. Yes. The second Advent, the imminent return of our Jesus Lord Christ. and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh, when shall I see Jesus? I yeah. see Jesus. SDH 448, John Leland. Na Mijizi, the war central for Botono, Jean Major. Young Courtney and Concote. Oh, when shall I see Jesus and reign with him? above.
impressive rendition by Wa Central Adventist Choir. Yamishra Mubebri, God bless you. Maya Zipa. Just wonderful. Uh, I'm, <laughs> wonderful. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. You know, a, a lot goes in when you have to send us a video of your performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot goes in. You have to look at the sound, the uniform, arrangement. Uh, it's a whole lot. Mm. So they've done very well. Mm. They've done so oh, but well. Sorry, you have to we no. have to vet it <laughs> before a committee will pass it. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Well done. Why are you in Shramo? I'm in Shramo. Next one here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ofi, the new Advent hymnal. Yeah. The new Advent hymnal. Um, NAH734. Uh, title here, We Praise Thee, O God. Other hymnals will capture title known as Revive Us Again. Again. Revive Us Again. And you mean Dr. William Peyton McKay. You know. Um, now, Nipa Oye composition in Kasano, a friend of John Husband. <laughs> John Husband. John J. Husband. On Oye composition. You know, mm -hmm. among all the stories that we have, you know, discussed on this episode mm. several of them that we have i believe that there is none compelling like this one mm. yeah you know this doctor william mckay was born in 1839 studied medicine at the university of edinburgh okay somehow his life drifted away from god and he went on his own. Mm. The mother gave him a marked Bible. But when things became difficult for him, he sold the Bible. Mm. <laughs> he sold the Bible. Mm. One day in his consulting room, he received a mason who got hit when they were, having, uh, they were building a, a high riser. Mm -hmm. He got seriously injured. So they sent him to the consulting room and Dr. William McKay happened to be on duty mm. that day. So he was the one attending to this mason who had gotten hurt seriously. The mason was moved to the ward mm -hmm. and the nurses told the story. He had a, a Bible. So as long as he was strong, he was reading the Bible himself. But somehow when they were nursing him, he was gradually he was dying. Mm. So then apart from, from reading the Bible himself, he also made the nurses to read the Bible to him. him. Then eventually somehow he passed on. When he passed on, they had to fold his things, you know, and pack everything nicely. When they were packing, they, they found the Bible. And Maki happened to be there when they found the Bible. He said, what book is that? He said, well, it's a book that this Mason had been reading ever since we, we admitted him to this hospital. Maki took the Bible, opened it, and surprisingly, he saw his name. the Bible that he sold many, many, many years ago <laughs> had come back to him. Had come back to him. It was his own Bible. Mm. The, the mother had written his name, his date of birth, and the message that somehow God should find him. Mm. And that is what broke him. From there, he entered the seminary and became a Presbyterian minister. Wow. <laughs> and he penned this wonderful <laughs> hymn for us, Revive Us Again, Again. based on this incredible you know, amazing story, mm. amazing thing that God did for him. Mm. So he was so shocked that after many, many, many years, the marked Bible was in his hands. And the one who was reading that marked Bible had passed away. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. Revive us again. That is instructive. You know, it's similar to, to this wonderful story. Mm. The mysterious answer to prayer. 
Yeah. Do we have a, a book called The Mysterious Answer, yes, to, answer prayer. to Prayer? The story yeah. is, is a bit similar. similar. Yeah. It was helpful. Dr. Peyton, listen, you know, William Peyton Mackey, more feminine. Bible, I know my mother, I said, I want you to see, doctor, I want you to work on what on Bible, no? Bible now, kwa wa son, what about a bottom view? Nyama and Yami, or to me, or you know, a binion. Young court, Nian Concote, the binion, me, NAH, New Advent Himna, NAH, seven three four. We praise thee, O oh God, and now they revive us again. Yanko de Yanko Kote, Nembra. Papa, 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 Yamin Shamu, Yamin Shamu. Now, the Antiafa, um, hymn of the week, we may acknowledge in Penny Fa, or where my you may be a bado. It was your four Mauritian, um, group I in your one in there, Wa Central Adventist Church Choir, or Wa District Upper West Administrative Field Unit, a horn of war. Now, choir leader, Nizin de Mrs. Vera Amma. Vera Abba Matoga. Vera Abba Matoga. Abba, yada sepa very forceful lady. Yamin Shrao. Nassistant, eh, Mr. Michael Amankwa Chum. Michael, on our son, a one keyboardist. 
Johnson Akwabua Enin on our bow flute, no. One conductor, Afro man. <laughs> Afro man, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Prince Adai Boating. Prince Adai Boating. Prince Yamin Shrao. Our music director, Sabine. Mr. Daniel Namogo. And uh, Mr. Seth AC. Elder in charge of music here, Elder Samuel Matoga. Church pastor, Pastor Samu, Pastor Maxwell Amponsan. Pastor Maxwell Amponsan. Now I'm at the Pastor Dan and Okakra. No Dan no Hono. They had a acting pastor. Uh unknown were friend of Pastor Evans Amponsan. Jan. Pastor Amponsan Jan na obe acte until Pastor um, um, Maxwell Amponsa Reba back. President of the administrative field, a yeah, Pastor Gabriel Amwakon. Pastor Gabriel Amwakon. Now, one patrons, Elder and Mrs. Job Asante. Elder and Mrs. Job Asante. I mean, in Shramo. I feel single out Professor John Yao. Apareb, Professor John Yao Apareb, Onye Dr. Bismarck Boasu, and our Elder Justice Busi. What's the Elder C? Well, boy, papa, papa, papa. And the, the entire administrative unit, so, uh, well, boy, they were very instrumental in making sure that this program becomes a success. Inti Yadamase, for helping them to do, carry on this production, Yami. Inshramo pa nyame inshramo ya da mwase. Afe men san men fa e yin kan welda. Yen him na osono. Ebi e wo Advent Press. Him books no ebi wo ho. Companion to the Seven Day Adventist him na onoso. Onoso ebi e wo ho. The companion currently no. Advent Press what ono. 220 Ghana cities. It is 220 Ghana cities. In fact, that, that's, that's the main research material for, for this program. Yes. In the composers now, what throw him see? And uh, writers no. At the book now. Or today, him now, and the paper. At the book, composers, the stories are in there. The inspirations are in there. Yambo Mazen, no, Bia, Nyebi. At least every car, Bia. Yenya Ekor, companion to the Seven Day Adventist hymn. Now, Yababo Shia him now. Let's look at the the a, the composer, Yenche writer. No, let's read about them. Let's have the story in mind. Tonyom na you sing with meaning because you know what went on. Ti obwa ti amo bo dene yento two hundred and twenty Ghana cities. Eko Advent Press ebe nyebi. Afe him now so no so woho. There is the fancy hymn. The book, the hymn book, fancy hymn book. Hymn singing now, why in fancy? Yeah. In the central region, four, na western, four, one hour, cavance, no, yambo mozen, na yenya hymn now, no. Yambo mozen, na yenya hymn now, no. Na bob wayen wo, yen sum. Um, nebo no, nebo, nebo, nebo. I think it's 40 Ghana cities. Each of them, you 40 Ghana cities. So there is the ever, ever hymn now. There is a gun hymn now, and there is a fancy hymn now. Your mom was a name to. Ah, you use Ghanaian language. In the world, for a baby, I'm about to cheer up my young. Your mom was a name to him now, so no. Now, your auntie, na in pain for why was a my young. Now, translate it. Wanna what to one, but what's now what translate English, no, to the. Dial the local dialect. So yeah, that must say, Papa, 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 Papa. Well Incred done. Incredible. They work. are great guys. Incredible work. Yeah, that must say. Yeah, that must say. Pa, me, 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 elder A.K. Dugan, Nizin, elder wo Eskado, Ewa Takurade, elder. Yami, Inshrao, Papa, 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 Yami, Inshrao. Um, Inti, Ewa, elder. I think that in the the Jumezina baby, in the young to young Korean, na young Monpei, na fe young for Jumezino, in brave. You must be a S H four five eight. More love to thee.
our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for this episode. We thank you for our brothers and sisters from our district. We are grateful for the appearance on this program. We pray for your blessing on the church and on every individual member of the church, the unit in Jesus' name. We pray for our crew members here at Hope Studios. Continue to bless all of us. We have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Central Adventist Church Choir. God bless you immensely. Amen. 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 Amen.